So you've probably heard by now that the Liberals have been forced to walk back a bunch of amendments they brought in targeting and criminalizing hunters across Canada. But make no mistake, if they get another chance, they'll definitely do it again. Because this is what they always do. Instead of going after criminals and gangsters, they target law-abiding firearms owners, sports shooters, and hunters. Madam Speaker, the Liberal Firearms Bill C-21 will ban outright all airsoft guns, most BB guns, and some paintball models in Canada. Because of these Liberals, 1,500 Canadians will likely lose their jobs. You know, I come from a family of law-abiding firearms owners. I represent many law-abiding firearms owners, hunters, sports shooters, um, of all nationalities, all backgrounds. I, I guess I just wonder why the member then doesn't agree that there should be prison time for robbery with a firearm, extortion with a firearm, weapons trafficking, importing or exporting unauthorized firearms, discharging a firearm with intent, uh, all kinds of illegal possession firearms and discharging firearms with recklessness. What is clear is that Bill C-21 finds a way to create a boondoggle that will again create a long gun registry because some of the now prohibited firearms are long guns and it will cost taxpayers billions of dollars while delivering no concrete results to improve and protect the public safety of Canadians suffering at the hands of gangs and criminals carrying out the vast majority of gun violence and crime in Canada. And the tragedy, it's this, that for all the big words and tough talk from the Liberals, it's the very real victims of growing gun violence in Canadian citizens and their families who are forced to bear the brunt of these failed Liberal policies and experiments. Conservatives will always fight to go after criminals to keep Canadians safe. So please leave a comment below. I really want to hear what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching.